Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate if we want to write back our fabric data warehouse data into our local SQL server. So how we can do this? So for the sake of demonstration, I am going to use Power BI and in Power BI, I create a simple report. And here is my data set, which I'm going to right back into SQL Server. So for uh, that, I am going to use Power Automate and Power Automate for Power BI. So I click this Power Automate for Power BI. Once I click this, so here is my fields which I need to write back or you can say should be attached with this Power Automate component. So I'm going to take all the columns. Okay. Okay, so I am take all the columns here in Power Automate data as a data. So now I'm going to use edit and edit. It will open Power Automate interface in my Power BI. So let's load it. So, okay. So we have a instance Cloudflow and template. So I am going to use instant Cloud Cloudflow. So here we are, we have is 10 cloud flow in, which is actually when it triggered, when Power BI button click, so it will trigger. So for the next step is that I am going to use compose where I can fetch all the data, actually it's a data operation and where I can fetch all the data from Power Automate, which I actually used in my Power BI set in my Power BI. So for the sake of the demonstration, for I need to use Power BI data, it will actually fetch all the rows and all the columns in a tabular form. So this is first step. And second step is that I need to use SQL Server. SQL Server activity. And in this, I'm going to use insert row. And here is my connectivity for the, but you need to first check either your server is available or not. If not, then you need to power automate. And here you have more option, go to connections. In connections, my local server is available here. If in case, in your case on new connection, okay, click SQL server and you can use any authentication method, like I am going to use SQL Server, but you can use window authentication. So for the sake of deposition, I'm going to use this. And here you, your local server name and database name, like in my case, my server name is this, database is this, and I'm going to use my finance ta two table. So, and this is my credentials. And most importantly, I have a gateway and gateway name is GW1. So once you click hit create, so it is going to create a connection here. So this is my connection. And let me show also in edit mode that I am going to use this quickly. And now I'm going back in my Power BI where I have left. So I have to select using DSL, my server name, my database name, and table name. Let it be open and populate all the tables available. So here we have, so we have a Y finance two table. And after that, actually, we have to set each and every columns uh, mapping actually. For example, Power BI date is mapped with uh, and with, and this is a good thing that is apply one by one because it, it has a multiple rows. So it is applying loop activity by default. So this is a good thing. So symbols, I am going to use symbols like Power BI data symbol and open. So open 
So this is our, these are my columns. So let me go quickly. So I quickly create uh, all the mapping of the, my data. And I also name it right back data into SQL Server. And then I have to save and save and apply. Click back and apply. And I, um, I can run it here as well. But uh, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be back and let me go back in a streaming. I need to save the changes. Okay, I'm going to save the changes. And this is my stock dashboard here. And here is my trigger button. So let me, uh, right now, I think, okay, let me check the data first. It has no records in our this table. So let me get back and click this trigger. So it will actually triggering and uh, it's triggered. So let me come back here and run. Yeah, you can see that record is going to looping inserting one by one. So it's a, a huge table. It has around 750 plus records. So it will take a time. So, but it is how it is. A, this is a method actually by which we can insert our data from Power BI or Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse or data set to local database. So I hope you understand this concept. Uh, similarly, in my previous video, I am actually show you another mot method which is using NGROX and Microsoft Flag stars using REST API, which can actually insert the data from uh, Microsoft Fabric into it. But it, it is very efficient, but it was very fast. So you have two choices now. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.